to vote on an issue, member of the United States House of Representatives, Mikhtar Gosh Medal, for significant contribution to the strengthening and development of Armenian American friendly relations, as well as to the international commission of the Armenian Genocide. President of the Republic of Armenia, Serge Sarkisian. Standing ambassador, who is such a dear friend, thank you very, very much. And to uh, uh, to our uh, uh, our uh, the minister of the John Karabakh, thank you. I will cherish what you gave me. Uh, I think that uh, you can tell that I'm really moved and touched by this award. If anyone were to have uh, said to me uh, as I was growing up. Uh, that the government, the president of Armenia, would present this award to me. Uh, I probably would have smiled, laughed, and skipped out of the room. So um, uh, this is a uh, uh, this is extraordinarily special to me. Uh, I know that I am in high company in terms of those that have been awarded uh, this award. Uh, uh, by the president and the people of Armenia. Uh, this year, uh, in the company of one of the great, great Armenian Americans, uh, Vartan Gregorian. Uh, when you say that name, everyone nods. He has so distinguished himself and has made us uh, even prouder of who and what we are as a people. And to receive this on the 21st anniversary of the independence of Nagorno-Karabakh uh, is another great honor. Uh, this room is filled with advocates. And I think very often people, uh, especially as they think of the Congress in Washington, D.C., that it is so large uh, and so complicated uh, that they don't see themselves fitting into what goes on here. Uh, I'm a representative, I come from the House of the People. We are the guests of the Senate tonight, and we are all grateful to the Senate for that. But were it not for advocates, no change would ever occur. <coughs> it takes courage to be an advocate. It takes passion to be an advocate. And between the two, and the faith that always propels it, this is how the changes occur in this place. And without all of you, we would not be celebrating the 21st anniversary of uh, Nagorno-Karabakh. We know that. Uh, and as my colleague uh, Adam Schiff so eloquently stated, uh, it is because of you and the, Ar the Armenian community in the United States of America that have persevered for so long and still are for so many issues. 
What I want to say to you is, is that I, as I put this on tonight, that as long as I breathe, I will be with you and be part of the advocacy to make sure that the wrongs are righted by this great country of ours. We still have, we've moved many miles, uh, but there was an old saying of Auntie Maine, we have miles to go and places to see. And we will do that together. And I pledge that to you. I know that my mother and father are watching from heaven. And I think that they're dancing as you uh, uh, give this to me this evening. So I thank you from the bottom of my heart. And I couldn't mean it more. Everything uh, that I will do uh, will be done on behalf of the people that I love so much. Uh, the ancestors whose shoulders uh, I stand on, as you do, on um, your ancestors as well. So I thank you from the bottom of my heart. I just couldn't mean it more. And I want to pay special tribute to Frank Pallone as one of the great co-chairs of the Armenian uh, Caucus in the House. Uh, you know, people don't see us meeting or hear us meeting. They don't see the quiet work and sometimes the tough work that has to go on in order to make progress together. But how proud we are of him, how proud we are that it is bipartisan, how proud we are to stand with you. And we thank you. We thank you for your advocacy. Without it, our work simply would not move. So God bless all of you. God bless our people. And uh, again, from the bottom of my heart, uh, I just couldn't thank you more. It really is the greatest honor of my life.